Hey there, it's Elle the Marvel and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be answering some questions that was asked in my YouTube channel. First question was from Kane Mambong. Hi sir, ask ko lang, what's the difference between statement balance and outstanding balance? Also, should I pay both balances? Second question was from Len Invento. Ano po yung minimum amount to the statement? So those questions guys were already been answered in my channel. However, I'm creating this video to help others that have same questions as well and maybe to better understand how to read um, credit card statement. So first, what is minimum amount due? From the word minimum, yan po yung at least amount pa kailangan natin bayaran to keep our account current and at the same time to avoid late payment fee. However, um, if we will only settle the minimum amount due, we will expect some interest charges that will be charged into our account. And most of the bank here in the Philippines would actually charge you 2% interest rate monthly. Though um, your relationship with the bank uh, just by settling the minimum amount too would be still in good standing kasi nagbabayad ka pa din naman sa kanila. Second, ano naman po yung statement balance? Statement balance is the amount you need to pay in order for you to avoid interest charges into your account. And guys, mind you, it's better to pay the full statement balance every month because while you're using your credit card, you're also um, building your credit scores with the bank. Which means that um, kung kaya mong bayaran yung statement um, balance in full every month, mas pagkakatiwalaan ka ni bank ng mas mataas na credit limit in the future. And at the same time, pag maganda yung credit score mo, by doing that, then it'll be easier for you to apply for um, any loans in the future. Let's say car loans, um, housing loans, personal loans, and stuff like that. Third one, ano naman po yung outstanding balance? So, outstanding balance guys, yan po yung kabuuan na utang natin sa bank. Kasama na po dyan yung mga installment na hindi pa nabibill. Installment like for 12 months, 24 months. So, lahat po yan nasa outstanding balance. So, ibig sabihin ba, kailangan kong bayaran yung outstanding balance instead of statement balance? Well, the answer is no. Pero, kung madami ka namang pera, like enough naman yung budget mo, why not? Para wala ka na iisipin utang sa bank. Pag hindi ko ba nabayaran yung outstanding balance sa account ko, magkakaroon ba ako ng fee like interest charges? Hindi po. Um, so long as you can pay the full statement balance every month, you will not be charged any interest charges. Lastly, do I need to pay my minimum amount due, statement balance, as well as outstanding balance separately? The answer is no. Hindi nyo po kailangan bayaran yun sila separately kasi isang bill lang po yun. The bank is just giving us an option na kaya sa budget mo to pay your monthly bill on time. Pero isa lang po yun sila ng pinanggagalingan. Yung minimum amount of statement balance and outstanding balance. Yan po yung lahat na nagamit mo sa credit card mo. And that's it for this video. I hope na meron kayong natutunan kung ano ang dapat bayaran sa credit card statement natin. Again, this is Elle the Marvel. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye!